this reoccurring segment is going to be called Why the Drunk is This News? And the topic today is menthol cigarettes might get banned. Uh, we have this very impressive CNN article that says menthol cigarettes ban could happen next year. Um, which raises the question, why the fuck is this news? <laughs> Won't it be news when they ban it? I don't understand. We have news about news that might happen in the future. Uh, what do you guys dude, think? Dude, here's why. It's the same reason that every time a Democrat gets into office, uh, gun sales go up. It, it's they want it that they want people to start stocking up now for their menthols. <laughs> so and what they have you read what they like cite the reason why they're actually doing it for though? Because uh, they, they like to do it? adversely the BLM affect- the BLM movement is the uh, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. No pun intended. Not the drug, <laughs> drug failed drug war. Yeah. Not, not the overpopulation of no, prisons. Don't don't go out there and ban Biden or blame Biden's policies on this, good sir. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Biden had nothing to do with the fucking min, 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 uh, minimum <laughs> mandatory min, sentences. No, they actually the acting FDA commissioner, Dr. Janet Woodcock, said in the statement, great, great last uh, name by the way, Janet. Uh, Quote, with these actions, the FDA will help significantly reduce youth initiation, increases the chances of smoking cessation among current smokers, and addresses health disparities experienced by communities of color, low-income populations, and LGBTQ plus individuals, all of whom are far more, far more likely to use these tobacco products. Uh, so, yeah, John, that's... Uh, <laughs> Dude, I've seen... A, I saw a graph. It's, like, clearly Photoshop graph. It's, like... We asked X amount of African Americans, would you stop smoking menthols if they never existed? And it's like 46% says yes. Like, hey, where are you getting that data from? You're walking up, like, you're walking up on the streets on like fucking things that are going down right in front of you, being like, hey, I've got a quick question to ask you guys, real quick. Do you like menthol cigarettes and would you smoke them if they never existed? Like, dude. Yeah. I was reading somewhere uh, where uh, apparently this ban, a similar ban happened in Canada or at least Quebec. And so to get rid of it or get around it, someone came up with a little patch that you stick in your cigarettes that automatically turns them into a menthol. Like it, the, the smoke, like the, the chemical absorbs into the tobacco. So when you're smoking it, it tastes like a menthol. So that you're just asking for people to stick like chiclets in their gum packs now. It, yeah. it makes me wonder if uh, like the menthol click or the camel, they called the camel crush, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if that's going to be the new one, and the argument will just be like, no, it's not a menthol cigarette. It's a cigarette that has like a minty little thing in it, and if you don't break it, it's a normal cigarette. So it's a normal cigarette. Like I wonder if that will get around the the guideline. No, probably I, not. It, it's. Because you you can take the action to make it menthol, which by the way, camel crushes are gross. <laughs> I, I have smoked them with it snapped, and I have smoked them without it snapped. And what they don't tell you is if you're bumming a cigarette off of somebody that smokes camel crushes, they're meant to be snapped. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> after a while, like the fucking hot smoke will melt the cartridge. And you just start tasting menthol, anyways. Uh, okay. So um, it, it it's a faulty design, mom. <laughs> not that I smoke cigarettes. I I thought this whole thing was weird because I remember, and it was what like eight or nine years ago that they banned all flavored cigarettes. Yeah. And uh, I was pissed because cloves were in there, and clove is like the most natural addition to a cigarette that you can make. And all I remember was thinking like, menthol is not a natural addition. <laughs> why the fuck are menthols like because they're second most popular like does that make sense uh but no um, i was pissed because they banned cloves and apparently the deal was that uh camel i think was about to roll out flavored cigarettes like strawberry orange vanilla like all these very candy like flavored cigarettes um which i mean i whatever i don't care i would have wanted to smell one because i'm curious as to what they smell like but uh, 
Yeah. Well, Don't really it, care. It probably smells like all those grape flavored cigars. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I think, um, yeah, it makes me wonder if they're going to ban flavored rolling papers too. Is that going to be part of it? Like, is the because they did say cigars were part of it that flavored cigars would no longer be available, which is going to destroy the blunt wrap industry. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think on that? <laughs> you think I switched are... to Canagars. I press, okay. I press my own Canagars now. I was yeah, saying, the, yeah. the real question is, is anybody going to smoke blunts after the flavors go away? <clears throat> oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would. I, I don't know. That's, that's just me. I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes, so it's tough to... Yeah. Me Other either. than I think it's just ridiculous that, like, it's ridiculous that they're doing it, but, like, I can't really relate to, like, the flavors or whatever. I do have flavored, like, I smoke a lot of green, obviously, so uh, I have, like, flavored papers for those. So, like, if they were to ban those because of cigarettes, I'd be, like, that's yeah, pretty Yeah, dumb. I'd be a little pissed like, off about it. What the hell? Like, it makes no sense. It and also makes me wonder if the, 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 the flavor drops. I figure what those things are called. Like, if those things are going to start selling really well. <laughs> you know, like, people will just have, like, a little insulin syringe that they, like, inject menthol into their uh, filter ahead of time, and then poof. Kind of like what people were doing with... Uh, yeah. The, not robbing alcohol. The... Uh, uh, oh, God. The chemical that they use in... Uh, in uh, formaldehyde. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, for, where they would smoke the cigarettes in formaldehyde. I forget yeah. what the hell that's and, called. And then smoke and get high. I, uh, I I know there's a name for it. I just yep, can't remember too. what. It was something weird and just, <laughs> just gross sounding. Uh, we're about halfway through the show, so I thought this would be a good time. Uh, since Colin's not going to join us, we'll bring on the ghost of Colin to the show. Uh, welcoming, <laughs> welcoming Gandhi. Uh, yeah, John, he's uh, he's your buddy now. Uh, so. Whoa, man, six feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Gandhi no like social distancing. He just wants to be there. Be careful. He'll hit you with that stick. Uh, <laughs> Is that cinnamon or a fucking twig? <laughs> I don't know. It was the best uh, The best Gandhi I could find online. That was, uh, yeah, I tried a real picture of him. It didn't work out so well. Uh, we're going to move on to the next subject. And, uh, this one's interesting. I had just started reading up on this, and I probably need to read a lot more. 